Hey guys, welcome back. In, um, today we are going to be talking about how to make this coffee cup holder or milk carton, milk carton holder. Okay, today please expect that you will learn how to make this one that colds too, and you will also learn how to make a holder that holds four cups or if you don't like cups or you don't have access to cups, I'm also going to be teaching you how to make these milk carton that fits perfectly in these holders. So, you guys, let's get started. It's going to be so much fun. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with the mini cup holder that has two coffee cups. We're going to start with that and then um, for that you're going to need two sheets of paper. So it's created with the box, the box base and then the handle is created separately. There are a lot of SVGs out there and there's also dies to do this. However, if you don't have a machine or you don't have the dies, this is a way for you to do it manually. You're going to start with a 7 and 3 fourths sheet of paper by 5 and 1 fourth. So 7 and 3 fourths by 5 and 1 fourth. And so you're going to score it at 1 and a half on all four sides. And then you're going to burnish it right there. Burnish. Okay. And then at the seven and three four side, you're going to score at three and seven eighths. And that's going to be the center point. I just want you to mark the center point just so you know where to put the stuff. Next, for the handle, you're going to need 12 by three and one fourth sheet of paper. You're going to score it at one half and then turn it and score it at one half. And then on the 12 inch side, you're going to score it at one inch, two and a half, six inches, score it again at one inch and two and a half. That's it. And then you fold and then we're going to process it. Let me show you. So you score at your score marks. This is the one inch mark. And right there so you're going to cut this like this right there and this is the two and a half inch mark right there you're going to do the same on here because the concept is this goes onto the floor of the base this one attaches this one attaches to the side and this one goes inside so that it's easier for you. It's easier for you to hold on to it. If you have if you have an oval punch, that will be super perfect because you can use it as your handle. I still don't have an oval punch from I still don't have an oval punch. That's okay. I'm going to use my circle punch. Just use whatever you have. Um, the circle is what I have. So that's what I'm going to use. And that's going to be okay. In the overall scheme of things, it's going to be fine. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just doing the exact same thing on this side. And this is how we're going to do the double one as well. So I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing because this... This is the exact same process. It's just a different measurement. So as you can see, this is what we have. This is your opportunity. If you want to put stitching, you can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole to mark the center. So I'm going to fold it because this is how it's going to be like. And then I'm going to punch. So I'm just trying to center it if both sides are symmetrical there so that's good 
that's what it's going to look like and these tabs attach to the sides of your box see so that it's sturdy this one attaches to the base so this is what it's going to look like attaching to the base attaching to the side right there so i suggest you glue this um my glue gun is not hot yet we're gonna proceed to the box um just to let you guys know i am using um a mix of the fairy tale club papers because these are really really sturdy papers um i'm using a mix of making mad making christmas and i think christmas land because i think i've used this in both of the entire collections so this is your opportunity you guys if you want to put stitching if you want to put stitching on here now is your chance so you're going to notice that there's a mark in the middle that's where your handle will be that's where it's going to nestle right there in the middle okay so this is what it's going to look like i'm gonna be back i'm just gonna glue this okay be right back okay so now i am done with i put some stitching by the way and then i assembled it right here so don't forget there's the um, line right there and that's where we're going to put this one let me move you a little further back so i've glued the tabs i didn't want to torture you with that so now i'm going to glue um just in case you can you can use adhesive on this or whatever you like i'm just for purposes of speed and efficiency i'm just using my glue gun right there so this would be cute if you want to put stitching right here if you want to and then this one we're going to put it right here and then the marks in the middle will tell you where to go. You see the score mark? You see the score mark right there? Because we scored the middle part. So that's where you're going to glue it. In the center, right there. And there's also a score mark on here. So that it's easier for you to identify right there so you're gonna be in the center right there so all you need to do is glue that and your coffee cup oopsies your coffee cup is ready to go decorate as necessary and you're done oh my gosh this is so cute i love the stitching i'm gonna glue that and then we're going to proceed to the double the double um coffee coffee cup holder brb before we start with the tutorial for the double for the double um the double coffee cup holder um i'm going to at the end of the video i'm also going to be teaching you how to create this milk carton that also fits both um both so if you cannot access like these coffee cups, you know, it, they're sold in hundreds in Amazon. If you don't want to do that, you can create a milk carton that fits this perfectly. So I just want to let you know that there will be a tutorial for you at the end of the video so that you can create a single. This is called the single. I don't know why I call it single. It looks like a double but anywho so it i this is the one that holds two um either milk cartons or coffee cups right there and then i'm gonna teach you how to do uh, to make the one that holds four and then after that i'm going to teach you how to make these milk cartons that fits perfectly in these without an svg or without any dyes all right, let's proceed. 
So for the double coffee cup holder, which holds four, your box base will be seven and three fourths by seven and three fourths. And then um, you're going to score it at one and a half, three and seven, eight, wait, one and a half. And then you're going to score, I think. I think you're going to score it at one and a half on all four sides. Let's start with that. So same as before, score at one and a half on all four sides. Next, you're going to score it at three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths, and that's going to be your center. Okay, make sure you score that because that's going to be your marker. That's it. Score at one and a half on all four sides. To mark your center as a guide, you score it as at three and seven eighths. Next, you're going to get your handle. And for your handle, you're going to need a 12 by five and three fourths sheet of paper. Um, and then you're going to score it at one half. One half on both sides. And then you're going to score it at one half again and one half again on this side, okay? Half an inch on all four sides. And then next you're going to score it at two and a half. And then you're going to score it at six. And then you're going to score the longitudinal one at this 12 inch mark. You're going to score it at one and a half and then two and a half and then six. So pretty much you just want to do the exact same thing as what you did earlier. But in this case, this one is, this one is going to be, this is going to look like this, you guys. Okay. So, let me do some cutting. It's going to be the same as before. So, I would probably speed this up just a tad. So, burnish all your score marks. And this is not going to be a score mark. So, what I'm doing is I am right there. Same as what we did before. Do it on all four sides. Do, 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 do. like that okay and then you score here you know just create a snippet create a snippet at your two and a half inch okay same as the other side two and a half inches right there all you need to do is just find your score mark then this one you snip, you snip on this side. So, okay, this is what it's going to look like, right? So, you're going to fold it, fold it like this. Same as before, fold, fold, fold. This is going to be the one that nestles on the bottom. And this one on the side right there see it just like that Toot. okay so now you have to punch like a um like an oval punch an oval die let me try to see if i have an oval die give me a sec I think this is the only oval die that I have. So I'll just use this right here. I'll be back. Okay, so yes, this one I cut with this one. So that's cool. I like that it leaves stitch marks. I love stitch marks on everything. So now we're gonna assemble the box. Super easy, same as before. You just snip. And cut a sliver. I like cutting slivers from the top too. Just so it's cleaner. So snip. Cut a sliver away. Do the same thing on the other side. 
cut. Take a sliver off. I think it looks professional. So you're going to notice that there's a score mark in the middle. And that's going to be where your middle portion will be. Is, you know, the like the, the center divider. And so I'm going to make sure that you are mindful that you're going to put it right here. Right there. Smack in the middle. See that? I hope you can see the center score mark. And this is an amazing, amazing, um, amazing, amazing collection because it's it's comprised of really sturdy, sturdy paper. So it's perfect for 3D projects like these. For example, I am imagining this one in during Valentine's. Like you're you're giving a present to a friend. So, what we're going to do is we're going to glue our base. So, you're going to notice that earlier I assembled the box first before I glued it. I think it would be better if you attach the center first before you assemble the box so you can see which one is center. Um... I thought about it and I think it's going to be a better it's a better idea to do this because you can see see that you can see and kind of align it better that way. So that's my suggestion you you do um what you like to do but that's my suggestion that's all. So yes. So I mean, it's super, super convenient to use glue gun. But if you want to be exact, I think using your, oopsies, your Barely Arts, Barely Art Precision Glue is a little bit better when it comes to getting the base together. You can assemble everything else with your local, like with your regular crafty glue gun. But I suggest when it comes to the base, just use your your Barely Arts glue or, you know, your liquid glue. Just so you can adjust it. And I think that's a better idea. Better idea to put the center first before you assemble the box. Um, you're going to see the difference. I think I think it makes a huge difference for me it did so that's my suggestion I'm just building it right here after this you guys we're gonna make the milk carton which fits absolutely perfectly on this one and I'm imagining us giving or doing like a like a coffee cup swap or whatever or you can swap with your friends these coffee cups it's gonna be so cute look it fits perfectly we're gonna make this next but look at that is that pretty and it's not even decorated yet but oh my god i didn't have any more christmas paper so i used the halloween paper <laughs> from i just used the halloween paper from um andrea bethke or the fairy tale club so i think it's super super cute Anyways, so now I have this paper. We're going to just go straight to creating our milk carton. And for the milk carton, you guys, you're going to need a nine and a half by six piece of paper. Okay, so it's nine and a half by six. And then you're going to score it at the six inch side, which is this one. You're going to score it at one and a half. One and a half, four, and five and a half. Okay, next, you're going to turn it, and at the nine and a half inch mark, you're going to score it at two and one fourth, four and a half, 
six and three fourths and nine. Okay, so after that, you're going to fold your score marks. Fold, you're going to fold, you're going to fold. And then you're going to fold, fold, fold. Just folding it. You may already, if you're doing this with me, you're probably already imagining how this milk carton is going to turn out because this tab is the one that's going to close it like this. If that's what you thought, you are correct. However, before we close it, you got to, you have to take this off first. You know, like the tabs, as usual, per usual. So I try to create this tab like that and then straight. So I do, I'm doing alternate. Make tab for this, don't. Make a tab for this, don't. So that's what I'm doing because it's easier to close that way. Like foresight, you know? I've made maybe five of this already, so kind of get the nuances of it. Okay, so, and this one goes right there. See it? And then we're going to get some tape. Let's get some double-sided tape right here. You can close this milk carton any way you like. You can do um you can do like um like a laundry clip. You can you can close it however you like. So this one I'm going to close the one that's not snipped first and then proceed to the snipped ones. Like that. And then you just glue it as appropriate, you know. I would put glue here. Oop. Easy. Done. Right? That's sealed. Yeah. Next, I'm going to choose which side I want. And so I like to approximate where is my middle. So I'm just kind of pinching there so that I know that that is my center. Does that make sense? I pinched it so that I figured out, okay, that's my center. And then, so that when I do this, it's going to be easier to kind of determine which is your center. Okay. Okay. Right there. Right there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Right there, let me get a clip. You can use these clips, these clip, these clips, these clips I got from Dollar General, but I'm sure you have some in your stash. And then you can put like your stamped images if you want to. I actually prefer the stamped images. If I can find, if I can find my clip, my hangers, um, my laundry clips. I know I have some. I just don't know where I put them. Also, an option for you to close it is just a strip of paper and close it. Or you can Velcro it also. But look at what we have. It fits perfectly. If you don't have access to your um, coffee cups, this is an absolutely super cute option also to the coffee cups. But, if you have access to coffee cups, obviously you can use that too, because coffee cups are so darn cute. Um, I haven't decorated the last two of them. I just put, I just put, um, like, the body. Let me get some lids for these. Look at that. Okay. So it is up to you how you want to do this and how you want to decorate them. But that's how pretty much you construct this one, this one, and these 
um, what do you call this? Milk carton. Another option for the milk carton, you guys, you can make these and turn them into houses. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute. And you can put windows in here. That will be so cute. And then acetate. Oh, that will be such darling idea. You can do it like this and cover it with a house like that. And then put the house right here. Or if you want a coffee cup, you can also do that. I think there's so many ideas floating out there. But I just want to teach you how to construct these manually with no dies and um, no machines. Just in case you don't have access to any of those. I want to tell you that yes, girl. Yes, sir. It is still possible to have these amazing homemade goodies without um, those fancy things in your house. But anywho, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed creating these with me. Leave a comment down below on what you think and how you are going to decorate it. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited to see what you come up with, you guys. Please tag me in Instagram or in YouTube if you are able to create any of these creations. Please, please, please. I want to see how you decorated yours and how you created yours. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, this is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day, you guys. Au revoir. Talk to you later. Bye.